another railway station and another journey and soon entering my seventh country so going to Checha um, to Prague um, it's a really really cold morning um, and uh, it's been a delightful little town it's one of those towns that perhaps you can see most things within a day um, which I tried to pack in yesterday um, it's in the Bavarian sort of uh, foothills and um, lovely countryside, just a small rural community really. Um, but yeah, uh, good place to stop off and, and perhaps even good place to stay if you really want to chill for a couple of days. But I'm heading off to Prague, so um, yeah, just waiting for the train and a warm compartment I hope and a seat. I'm sure I'll get a seat. Oh God, I shouldn't have said that, should I? Anyway. See you in Prague. Well, on my way to Prague, and I am not the only, there's one other passenger further down this carriage, but pretty much an empty carriage. And here we have history just hitting you from every single angle, from the Gothic church, as you can see just now, and um, just the wonderful buildings, before that the fountain, and also the Prague astronomical clock, um, which you're going to see a little bit later too. So this is the old town square of Prague and, and obviously there are so many restaurants. Um, yeah, great place to hang out. No, it's not the Danube, it's the um, very slow moving Vltava River going through Prague. And it is, it's very, um, yeah, just ambling its way through the city, and why not? Rather lovely. And here we have the other side of the bridge with the Vltava River. And as the sun has set on Prague and the night has arrived tomorrow, I meet up with an old friend, David, and also the palace.